Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about data table variables. Most of our previous sessions, we have used data table as an input as well as an output for activities such as read range, write range, write CSV, read CSV, and many more activities. Now, we will learn about data table variables in detail in this session. Data table variables represent a type of variable that can store big pieces of information and act as a database or a simple spreadsheet with the rows and columns. This data table can be found under system.data.namespace or that it directly comes under system.data.data table. These data table variables are very useful to migrate specific data from a database to another database or extract information from a website and store it locally in a spreadsheet and many other activities. Let me show you an example how we can use data table variables. Let me switch to UiPath Studio. If you see on my screen, I'm having Excel application scope where I'm calling students mouse.excel file. And then if you observe, I'm first of all, I'm going to read the Excel by using read range activity. And if you see over here the properties, once I have read the data, I'm going to store the data in the data table. That is where data table I have given the name. In all our previous sessions, we have used this kind of data table. And then if you see, I'm going to use another activity, right range activity, where the input is the output of the read range data table, where the data table for the read range activity is an output, whereas for the right range, it is an input. And if you observe this activity that I'm going to work on the Excel to store the output in the data table, and then, or I'm going to write the data by using write range from the output table, output data table, that is var data table. This is how we are going to use it. But if there is any manipulation that I need to do on the data table, how can I go ahead and do that? There are so many activities that we have under programming, under data table. This is purely to work on the data table only. If you observe, there are so many activities which we worked on the Excel. But now, until now, we have seen only for each row to fetch the data from the data table, right? So from where we are going to get it? From the data table. In the upcoming sessions, what I will do, we are going to work on the data table only. What are the activities that we are going to do if you want to add any row, if you want to do some kind of manipulations to clear the data, to filter the data, all these things that I'm going to do only on the data table, not kind of any Excel, not on CSV or some kind of activities I'm not going to do. I'm going to work only on the data table. Let me show you the variables over here. If you go to variables over here and you can see where data table, the variable data type is, you can see the data table. Let me go ahead, let me show you where we can get this variable data type. If you click over here, I'm having system dot, you can see system dot data dot data variable. Let's assume if you don't find it, let's browse for the types. Okay, under that you will find, you can see over here under system dot data, you will find data table extensions. This is called system dot data dot data table is a variable type which you are going to use to store the data in the data table. Okay that is called data table variables. I hope you understand how to use and where to use the data tables. In the upcoming sessions, we will learn about in detail activities about the data table, which we have as we have shown you. Thank you for watching UiPath tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye, have a nice day.